Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo, and today we will be taking a look at day two of the Sandbox game. And so I still don't have the Alpha Pass, and so today we will be going through the contest to see if we can win one, and then we'll take a look at the NFT Institute and exactly what it wants us to do. So even though you may not have an Alpha Pass right now, there is a few things you're able to do all the way up until hopefully you possibly win one with one of these contests, because they've already given out a thousand of them during a raffle, and then there's four thousand others that'll be given out during these three weeks. So here we are on the Sandbox website right here. Now, as you scroll in, you can see that this is the Alpha Hub. There's already a green check mark right next to it, which means that it's already been completed. If I click on this little area here, you can see that it's been visited. The Alpha Quest has been completed, which was, I believe, me just taking a look at those three factions. Now, the image right next to it is highlighted. It has color. That means that this is the other one that is also available for anybody and everybody to do. Uh, you can see here it's not visited. The Alpha Quest is not completed, and that's why there's no green check mark. So what we need to do is take a look at the NFT Institute, but we also want to take a look and take a picture with Snoop Dogg. So if we head over into the Sandbox on Twitter, so this is their, their official Twitter account, the Sandbox, so make sure that you follow them. Uh, you can see here that if you find Snoop Dogg in the Sandbox Alpha and take a selfie with him, then you want to post that image right down here. And then what you want to do is fill out this form. Now the form is very simple. All you'd have to do is share the direct link of the image you shared here on Twitter. You want to share with them your Sandbox account. So if you head over into your profile, you're going to look right here at your Sandbox account, uh, the wallet address here. So you just want to copy this. So basically in the form, it's your name, email, the Sandbox wallet, uh, and then also this direct link. And when you do post an image, let's say that this one was mine. You can see that this date and time is sitting there. If you right click, this is where you go to copy link address. So in this way you'd be able to share this link address and prove that you did in fact take a selfie uh, with Snoop Dogg. So that is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna head over into the alpha game. Uh, and again, in order for you to participate, you do have to own land. So if you don't own land yet, uh, you can actually buy land here. Uh, you can find it on OpenSea. So then this way you can actually become a land owner and the prices of this land goes up every single day. So again, here's this main screen. You want to make sure that you have the alpha, the sandbox alpha game downloaded to your computer and you want to make sure that you have a Windows or PC. I don't believe it works for Mac right now. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the NFT Institute and I can either enter the alpha hub here or I can just play on the play button down over here. Now I have uh, the sandbox alpha game already pre-installed or downloaded to the computer. It's a program. Uh, and so because it's downloaded to the computer, it's basically now just opening up the game from the sandbox website. So this way, your account and everything is all synced up together. So that's why I suggest not opening up just the game itself open it up from the Sandbox website. Now, it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state if you guys are brand new here at the Challenge Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips and tricks and tutorials on either your Samsung stuff, if it's on NFTs, if it's on cryptocurrency, if it's on the Sandbox, if it's on Helium, if you just like the content that I push out, or if you're liking the video from today, uh, then make sure that you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So what you want to do here, uh, and if you missed my, my my video yesterday, I showed off everything in terms of all of the controls, how to get into uh, you know the hub, options, settings, and things like that, then you might want to watch that video from yesterday. So I noticed that there is an H right here, and so I typed in uh, the letter H, which I believe is going to take me over into the hub. And so at that moment where we were just at, we were at the Institute. So it's kind of cool that you're able to have a direct portal just by hitting on the H letter that takes you directly over into the alpha hub. Now, after this though, we're going to have to run back over and take a look over at the, uh, the NFT Institute so we can find uh, the metaverse guide, the guy that we just saw. We need to talk to him so we can figure out our quest for the day. Okay, so we landed up over into the hub after I hit on the letter H. Now, this is the man that we need to find outside of the NFT Institute. So he is our, our guide. He is the one with that exclamation point that we're looking for. But I wanted to come in here because I wanted to do the contest first before doing a quest. So Snoop Dogg is sitting right up over here. He's standing. He's dancing. Uh, and so all I'm going to have to do over here is basically go up right behind him. And what I'm going to try to do is maybe go through and do a dance. Uh, so I'm going to go and let's just do... Let's do this one right up over here. Uh, I'm gonna spin around and then I'm gonna try 
and take a snapshot with them, do a little selfie. All right, so now that we got our snapshot all done, got the image, uh, sent it over into Twitter. So now all I really need to do is share that. But what I need to do now is uh, try to finish off this quest. So what I need to do now is try to get outside of here uh, and then find the exact location of where the guide was. All right, so what I wanted to do was head back over into the map on uh, the Sandbox website. And I'm going to go back and, and hit play and enter back into the game. So this way it'll take me directly over straight into the, uh, the Metaverse guide. All right, so now that we landed back outside of the NFT Institutes, uh, this is the guide that you would like to speak to. Alpha Quest, welcome to the NFT Institute Traveler. If you'd like to move your alpha progression along, uh, find some of the Institute's notable pieces, such as the Institute's three points of interest, the main hall, atrium, in the main hall basement. All right, let's do it. So that means that now we need to find three different locations of um, this area. And so once you go inside of this room here, now I've never done this just yet. Uh, and so here we go. This is that little podium, the little post with the, the yellow target on there. This is what you wanna head up over into. So this is right here, the main hall. So it looks like what they want us to do is probably take a look and you can read a few of these and you can also view some of these NFTs uh, in the marketplace as well. So really smart to go through and just read what a few of these question marks are. So now what we need to do is you can see that there is a basement icon target and then another one that we need to go find. And so uh, I did run around this area yesterday. And so now we're going to see if we'd be able to uh, uh, check out this place in a much more hurry. So let's go through. We're going to go downstairs. Hopefully this is the basement location and it looks like we are at the right spot. So here is the main hall basement. So new objective is complete. Wow, look at this. <laughs> what is going on with everybody here? Look, check this out. We have, looks like just a lot of NPCs, a lot of, uh, looks like a few players, maybe possibly. No, I think these are all, no, we got one player. We have me, uh, but looks like a lot of people here are, are discoing and dancing. So we might as well kind of join in with them as well too. Uh, another two, uh, another thing I want to mention is on the very bottom right or the bottom left hand side, you can see that there is also a chatting location. So if you hit on the enter button, this is where you can go through and you can say hi to anybody and everybody. Um, so you just say, what's up? <laughs> now, after you, you write something, make sure you hit on the enter button one more time to close that down. Uh, so then this way you'd be able to still run around. So it looks like we have a bunch of people coming in here. We got a bunch of uh, players. Uh, there's also a few people up over on the top up on this uh, stage as well, too. So pretty fun. Uh, we got the bouncing car. Let's see, what do we got going on here? So it looks like there might be a tour. So it looks like that there is a tour going on here. Uh, not only just a tour, but also uh, a party, a dance party. But I mean, you know, if Snoop Dogg is involved, then you know for a fact that there's going to be a party here at uh, the Institute. So now all we got to do is find our very next location, which is uh, quite a bit higher than where we are. So let's just go through and find the very next target. So it looks like this ne next target is a couple levels high. And so I'm um, just kind of looking around, seeing what these guys are looking at. It's kind of cool that uh, they, they added in some players, uh, some NPCs that was able to kind of run around. Some of these bots... Um, that kind of fills in the space too. And it makes it kind of look more fun that there is some tours actually happening in the metaverse. And so here is our very last target that we needed to find. So now we found the atrium. So the alpha quest is now complete uh, for everything with the, uh, the NFT Institute. So there we go. That, this just proves and shows that our you know, sandbox wallet is going through uh, and is actually interacting, you know, with the map itself. And so hopefully that is going to be something that would be able to uh, help along. So they're going to notice, you know, who is playing the game, who is doing the daily contests on Twitter. Uh, and then hopefully everything just kind of comes into play, uh, you know, for you to, to hopefully win one. So again, I don't have an alpha pass. We're just going through all of this stuff here to try and win one. Now, it uh, looks like that there's a tour guide here. Uh, looks like maybe a school with a few different chaperones with the school. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head right back on outside just to see if there's anything else that we'd be able to do. I really don't know that there is anything else we can do. I'm actually curious if this portal right here will work. So this is a portal back to the alpha hub. If you hit on E, 
And here we go. So this is another way that you'd be able to move back over into different destinations. So every single day as, as the days go on, there is more and more that's being unlocked. So then this way you'd be able to travel to the NFT Institute from where, wherever you are, travel to the Alpha Hub from wherever you are. And also too, as you've seen from before, if you hit on the H button, it'll take you back over into the hub, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so I don't think that there's really much more that I want to show off with the game. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go and enter into winning this contest so you can see how it works. So here we are back at the regular sandbox game website. You can see now that we have finished it. You have the green check mark. So not only is it a green check mark for the Alpha Hub, you also have a green check mark now for the NFT Institute. You can see it's visited. The Alpha Quest has now been completed. So that's pretty much all I could do for the game. So within the game, I've done all of the, the quests that have been given. Now all I need to do is I need to make sure that I head over into my profile. I want to copy this uh, uh, my wallet address. So then this way when I go inside of Twitter and I want to go inside of this right here, I would like to copy and paste you know that address as well as I need to save um, or uh, copy my my image that I shared here. So you can see here that I've got my picture here underneath this image. It added basically take a, a selfie with Snoop Dogg. So you can see Snoop Dogg is sitting right here. Uh, we're all good to go. Now, what you need to do in order to share this one again is you wanna go underneath your image for the date and the time, right click. And then this is where you wanna to go to copy link address. So how about we head up first over into the, uh, the document. So here is that form that you need to fill out. So once you click on, on here, it's gonna take you inside. It's gonna be your first, or it's gonna be your name, it's gonna be your email, direct link to your Twitter entry, and then your wallet address. And so I just submitted it. Again, the name, email, wallet address, as well as the direct link of my little Twitter image here. Uh, and so now that it's been done and complete, I've already entered for that contest. So again, this is contest day two. Hopefully that we're gonna win one here. Uh, and so now you can just go back into the game by going inside of alpha, unless if you wanna head over and you take a look at the map. So uh, a couple things that you are able to do is if you wanna go inside of the marketplace, you can go through the marketplace and you can purchase some of these things uh, inside of here. You can also take a look at the lands. And so if you wanna go to the NFT type, you can go to lands and there's 3,688 of them. And this is where you can go through and you can put some bids and you can purchase some lands sitting here. Now, if you don't wanna do it through the marketplace here directly, what you'd be able to to do is once you hit on map, uh, then what you'd want to do from there is you want to hit on this option here, which is find land at open sea. And then this is where you'd be able to go through and you can purchase some more lands. And then once you go inside of here, one of the best and easiest ways to do it is by sorting it, uh, that you'd be able to go from the price from low to high. And then this way you'd be able to scroll down. You can take a look at either the sand prices, or if you just keep going down, 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 there's a bunch of them that you want to go through. Then you'll be able to take a look at how much they are uh, per Ethereum or for the Ethereum price points. But this is pretty much everything that I wanted to show off today. We, we took a look at the quest. We took a look at the contests. We did everything that we could for day two. We did everything we could from the Twitter contest and then from the game itself. But hopefully you guys found this to be entertaining, helpful, whatever it may be. Uh, if you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Give this thing a big thumbs up. Write some comments below the video inside the description. And uh, I guess stay tuned to a possible video tomorrow as well for day three. But I'll see you guys later.